Hey everyone, it's your girl Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Thank you guys again for joining me on another episode of 10 Minute Talks. 10 Minute Talks is where I like to take a topic that um, God either drops on my spirit or something that you suggest, and I just go in for another 10 minutes. If you have not, uh, if you just, if you just happening upon my page or, you know, the kind of things I talk about, y'all, I'm pretty much, you know, I do one minute videos. My book, my book is called Pep Talk Prayers. I think one of the reasons why I do that is because I can be pretty long winded. And so I think that for me to stick to the main thing of what God wants me to do, I have to do that because I don't want to get lost in the sauce of, you know, my flesh and my commentary. That's why I have my podcast because I can do all of that over there. And even my podcast are normally five minutes. <laughs> But yeah, I have ones that are like way longer than that. So um, you can catch my podcast on all streaming platforms. And, um, you know, you can roll with me some more on there and all my social media. In fact, just look at the link below this episode of 10 Minute Talks and you will see, um, you know, all the information that you need to stay connected to me. And I'm so excited that you are listening. So let me get to it. So y'all earlier today, I, well tonight, cause I, en- I ended up posting tonight uh, instead of this morning, like I normally do, but the topic was called everything. You have everything you need. Okay. And so someone uh, got in the comments and said, Hey, you need to do a 10 minute talk on this. And I said, you know what? She right. I do. Because what I thought about was, I'm like, man, Robin, you know, you're saying that because that's how God is telling you, but that's pretty obtuse. Because people are like, okay, well, if you're saying I have everything I need, what do I have? That's the problem, Robin. Like, I don't know what I have. I don't know what I need. Like, uh, hello. Like, that's not very helpful. So, yeah. So, I decided to take that suggestion. I forgot the young lady's name, but God bless you, sis. I got you. I'm going to tag you in the comments so you can come and check out the 10-minute talk. All right. So, here we go. So, that word was inspired by 2 Peter 1 verse three. Well, second Peter chapter one, verse three. And so I named this, um, I named this 10 minute talk proof that you have it. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little bit of biblical context for you. Okay. So in the study Bible, it says, um, I'm gonna start by verse two, excuse me. And then I'm going to end up on verse four. So what I like to do y'all, and this is something I suggest, this is what one of my, well, a few of my mentors taught me whenever you are given a scripture, just so that you're not picking and choosing, treating, you know, scriptures like fortune cookies, you want to make sure you have context. You want to make sure you read before the scripture and after the scripture to see if it actually applies. So let me read before and after the scripture. It says, and this is from the study Bible. It says, grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ, our Lord. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by his glory excuse me, by his own glory and excellence through these, he has given us his precious and magnificent promises so that through them, you may become partakers of the divine nature. Now that you have escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Okay. So we have a little context. So it's kind of sandwiched in, it's sandwiched in the middle of God talking about grace and peace being multiplied. And then you being safe and you have everything you need to avoid the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. So that's a perfect explanation. It's a nice sandwich. So you kind of know where we're going with it. Okay. And so I'll read it again from another version and I'll just read the specific verse by his divine power. So let's put a pin right there. God has given us everything we need. That's the name of the, the, the talk for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. Okay, so here's a couple things. The first thing is, is by his divine power. What does that scripture remind me of? It always, it it throws me right back to Ephesians 3.20. Everybody talk about exceedingly abundantly, but it also gives a clause by the power that worketh in us. It is his divine power that worketh in us, y'all. Okay. So those are akin to me. Those make sense to me because it goes back to, you get this beautiful promise from God, but he's saying 
the promise is connected to his divine power. Okay. He says that God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. So let me tell you about that. If you are in a situation where God has given you something to do, you have a calling on your life and he says, this is what I got for you. This scripture Again, this is why I like Bible because we can do things by our flesh and prophesy and say this and that. But this is why Bible is what it is. It's the living word and it's always true. So no matter if I jack up what I'm saying, you can always swing on back to the word and you're going to see it standing right there where we left it. Right. So check this out. So we've already established that we need his divine power. So that's the first thing we need, because I believe These 10 minute talks are more about breakdowns and instructions. Okay. So since the question was, okay, if we have everything we need, how can I discover what that is for what God is telling me to do? Cause I still feel lost. I keep praying and I hear that you saying that I have it. I receive that you're saying that I have it, but I don't know what I have. I don't know what to pull from. So the first thing that we're seeing in this word, let's do the sandwich. Let's do the the top of the sandwich, the first piece of the bread, the first piece of the word, right? He says the, the divine power. And he says that we have everything we need, right? But before we get to that part, it says that he gives us grace and peace and it'll be multiplied to you. But guess how the grace and peace is multiplied? It is multiplied through the knowledge of God. Okay, so that's telling you right there goes right back to that prophetic word. I told you the other day, some of you do not know what you need because you have no knowledge of God in the situation that you are in, meaning you have not sought God fully for the knowledge and instruction that you can only get through him and his word for divine execution. So you said, Robin, but if I got to go do something, you know, in the store today, that's not going to be in the Bible. Well, look, it might be. I can't say that. You know, I, I have had many instances where things he told me were verbatim that apply today. But this is what I will say to you. You can be praying all day long, but if you don't recognize that. If you don't recognize God's response to you in that time, you could miss it because they say that, you know, God will give you a yes, a no or not yet. Right. So the first thing you need to do, you need to pray and ask God, Okay, listen, I keep coming to you to this. I got uh, excuse me. I keep coming to you with this. Now I have the confirmation that, okay, I have what I need. Tell me, Lord, lead me, guide me, connect me with the right people and show me what that's going to look like for me. Okay. Y'all, there's a saying, if it's his will, it's his bill. So here's something that you do not have to worry about to the person who's questioning if God told you to do something. If God told you to do something, you, you better bet for certain he's going to take care of it. That does not mean you don't have to work. That does not mean that it's not going to be set up. It does not mean that you're not going to have hills to climb. The Bible says that we have tribulations. He says that he says weapons are going to form. So I'm telling you right now, it's going to be some problems, maybe some repercussions. And guess what? People are going to be trying to mess with you because it's a gift and it's a, it's a, it's a calling and purpose from God. He tell you all three of those, those things. So chill out on being mad and being disgusted and aggravated with him, the tantrums and cutting up because he's already telling you that's coming. So some of you might be in that space right now. You might be in the space right now of trying to figure out what this thing is that God is telling me to do. And I can't get a handle on it because all of these things are coming. Well, he told you those things are coming. Now, let me wrap this 10 minute talk up for you and make it make sense. It says through these, he has given us his precious and magnificent promises so that through them, you may become partakers of the divine nature. Now that you have escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. So that basically is saying this, you are literally sandwiched in between grace and peace multiplied unto you because you are partaking in the knowledge of the Lord. When you are getting knowledge from God, what does that mean? Y'all you are getting instructions. So the way you find out The way you find out what it is that you have, you have to change what you're praying. Ask God to give you divine instruction. You need instructions right now. That is how you are going to be able to illuminate and figure out and put your finger on what it is you're supposed to do. So let me tell you how beautiful this is. If grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God, uh, 
and of Jesus, our Lord, right? Once you made, once you receive that part, he says that same divine power, that divine power that you have to see, that you have to seek him for that same power, like Ephesians three twenty, that working within you, he's saying, I'm literally giving you everything for your life, like everything you need for your life. So I don't care if it looks crazy. I don't care if it looks like you don't have it. I've given you everything you need, not because you have it in your in your purse or your wallet or in your car or, or because you have it in, in the storage. It's because you have it in him. He is going to give you what you need to make that practical, to make that a real thing for you. Okay. So the way you know this to be real is when you seek him. And when you ask him for divine instruction, but you have everything you need. And it says right there in the word, the only way you're going to find out what you need is if you get it through the knowledge of him. That's the only way you're going to get it. Nobody can give you that answer. And if you feel like even that answer leaves you at a brick wall, that means that you have a deeper issue and you should not maybe be asking God for instructions, but you might have to ask God to help you get out of your own way so that you can hear him clearer. And it's okay if you're like that. It happens to the best of us. Happens to me all the time. The brick wall will not last. If your heart is pure, you're genuinely seeking God's face on this thing. He got you. And I can promise you, bro. And I can promise you, sis, God is going to do it for you. This is not me telling you this to buck you up. It's right there in the word of God. On why to inspire. I hope you are too.